The Metro Detroit area has a lot of great restaurants to check out, and we're here in the Down River communities to check out a few different great restaurants you can check out. Uh, hey everyone, it's Scott the Scott Man, and make sure not to watch this video on an empty stomach. It's time for some more great food, and we're here to do a little restaurant tour down here in the Down River communities of Metro Detroit. So why not start here in the city of Wyandotte? So Wyandotte is one of many Down River communities in the Metro Detroit area, and this is where we'll go for our first restaurant. In fact, we, even, we might even get another treat after dinner too. But before we get to our first restaurant here in Wyandotte, let's explore a little bit of the city. The area was settled in 1732 by the Wyandotte Indians, which were a part of the Huron tribe. They came over from Ontario when the French founded Detroit around 1701. The first non-native settler was Major John Biddle, who was an officer in the U.S. Army during the War of 1812, as well as a mayor of Detroit. He had a farm called the Wyandotte. The city name Wyandotte came to be by other settlers referring to the area as Wyandotte, specifically Biddle's Farm. The official founding of Wyandotte was back in 1854. In 1871, the Wyandotte shipyards commenced and built many hulls, including one of the Boblo boats. The shipyard ended up closing down in 1922. Today, Wyandotte is a nice community with many shops and restaurants. What a nice downtown area. Wyandotte has a lot of great stuff from shops and many different restaurants. All right, so speaking of food, I think it's time to go to our first restaurant. But it's not right here in the downtown area. We have to head a little bit to the north on Biddle Avenue. So I'll see you over there. All right, so we went about a mile north on Biddle Avenue and we're standing in front of Polonus. Polonus is a fantastic Polish restaurant here in Wyandotte. We're just a little bit to the north of North Line Road. And I've been here once before several years ago and they have amazing Polish food. So I'm really excited to head inside and get some tasty and delicious food. So let's go in. All right, so I made it inside and got a very nice interior in here, I have to say. Nice roomy interior, plenty of places to sit down and enjoy a nice meal. But Polonis has a lot of great Polish food. Everything from stuffed cabbage to kielbasa to pierogi, potato pancakes. Everything sounds so good, so why not get a mixture of everything? So I'm gonna be getting a couple of potato pancakes, a, a kielbasa, and a couple of pierogi. All right, so the food's arrived and got two potato pancakes, three pierogi with, filled with potato, bacon, and cheddar, and also one kielbasa with sauerkraut, and also got a side of applesauce and sour cream too. So this looks absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with some kielbasa with the with a little bit of sauerkraut. The kielbasa is very juicy and delicious, and tastes really good with the sauerkraut too. Nice, nice flavor to it. What's cool too is that the food is freshly made here on site, so you gotta love it. All right, so now for a bite of the potato pancake. I can dip it in some of the applesauce or the sour cream, but we'll have it plain. It's like having hash browns, but better. It's like nice and fluffy, absolutely delicious. But what I'm really looking forward to trying is the pierogi with the potato, bacon, and cheddar filling. This is top notch, absolutely delicious. Cooked perfectly, the food's amazing here. I've been here once before, as I mentioned earlier, but I'm glad I came back because the Polish food here is amazing. Check out Polonis here in Wyandotte. Mm -mm, that food was absolutely delicious. I figure I'll sit in the car this time just because it's starting to get a little cold outside. <laughs> we have the potato pancakes, the kielbasa, and the pierogi. Mm -mm. They are absolutely delicious. The food is amazing. The people are very friendly in there. If you're looking for some great Polish food, 
not only here in the Down River communities, but all over Metro Detroit, check out Polonis here in Wyandotte. But before we leave Wyandotte, we're going to head back down Biddle Avenue and head back in the downtown Wyandotte to go get some dessert. So let's head over there now. All right, so we are back in downtown Wyandotte where we were at the start of the video, although it's gotten a lot cloudy or a lot more cloudy since uh, when we first started, but oh well, it's not going to be eating outside. <laughs> But we have to get some dessert, and there's a really nice ice cream place here in downtown Wyandotte. So we're standing in front of Stroh's Ice Cream Parlor. It's been around since 1992, and a lot of their ice cream they make here on site. Nice and fresh. That's the way ice cream needs to be. Because that's how you know you get the, the best ice cream. Or at least without being like right on the farm. <laughs> but yeah. They got a lot of different flavors in there, and I can't wait to go inside and get some. All right, so I'm here inside, and we got a very nice interior in here. Got many different ice cream flavors, and they'll let you know which ones are made made local. What looked good to me was their buttercream brownie. <laughs> Looks absolutely tasty. So we're gonna go ahead and take a bite really quick, and this should be really good. This is very rich and delicious. Gotta love it. Mm-mm. That was absolutely delicious. That buttercream brownie flavor ice cream was absolutely tasty. Really enjoy it. Fresh and made on site. Yep, Stroh's Ice Cream Parlor, amazing ice cream here in Wyandotte. And of course, don't forget the polo shoot at Polonis further north on Biddle Avenue. So Wyandotte is a great place for some great dining opportunities. But we're only getting started with this restaurant tour because there's many other places in Down River we have to check out still. So stay tuned as we'll head to our next restaurant. All right, it is another day, and we're gonna check out some more restaurants here in the Down River community. So this time we've moved over to Allen Park, which is right off of I-94 over near Southfield Road. And we're gonna check out our next restaurant. But before we do that, we'll go for a little quick walk around the little downtown area of Allen Park. Nice little community, I have to say. All right, so now we're gonna go get some lunch here. Although I should maybe say brunch because we're gonna go to the Glass Onion Griddle. So the Glass Onion Griddle is a top spot here in Allen Park to get some delicious brunch because they got a lot of great breakfast food. It's like everything from like eggs, sausage, bacon, pancakes, waffles, you name it. All right, so it's a little chilly out. So let's head inside and warm up to some great food. All right, so here inside, got an IC at the counter here. It's very crowded because it's a very popular spot. In fact, it's even won an award for the best breakfast in Metro Detroit last year, according to Channel 4. All right, so I had to get one of their, <laughs> had to get one of their breakfasts here. So got their build your own omelet, got some toast, some breakfast potatoes, and then of course, Big time stuffed omelet, lots of cheese, we got cheddar, sausage, ham, spinach, and red onion. Alright, got to dig into some of these potatoes. Cooked perfection, I have to say. They give you ketchup, but don't really need them though. 
but I'm really curious about Oh, but what I'm really curious about is this omelette. Looks like it's... Looks like it's stuffed. But I like that, though. It's pretty good, I have to say. Yep. Eggs are cooked very well. It's still nice and warm, even though it's been a few minutes. I had to let it sit because it's a little hot. <laughs> and then, of course, like all the toppings, in, the sausage is maybe a little overcooked, but still has a great flavor to it. All right, probably can't hear me too well because it's kind of loud in here. So I'll see you back outside. Mm-mm, that was pretty good, I have to say. It's like that alo is cooked very, very well. That I like that it was stuffed with all sorts of different toppings. I got, oh, let me try to hurry. Someone's trying to cross. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, yeah, I liked how it was stuffed with a lot of different toppings. I got the build your own, so I was able to customize my toppings where you get like two vegetables, two meats, and a cheese. So I got like cheddar, breakfast sausage, ham, spinach, and red onion. But yeah, it's like, as I was saying, the breakfast sausage, it was good. It was, I felt like it was a little overcooked though. But the ham, on the other hand, that was fantastic. And I could tell it was a high quality ham too. It wasn't, didn't look like it was like a deli ham or anything. So I was quite impressed with that. And also, why is the, okay, camera's acting a little weird. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, the toast was, I didn't show the toast really, except for a quick little segment, but the toast was toasted very well. Like, was it too light? Was not too, too dark or anything? It was perfect. And of course, those potatoes were really good too. Didn't even need ketchup. But yeah, and one thing I like too is that, yeah, I could, because before I was sitting at the counter, I was able to even see the, the cooks as well too. And I did, I did, what I did like, or what I do like is that I didn't see any microwaves or anything like that. So you know that they're cooking the food to order. All right, so yeah, I, I I'd easily give it like an eight out of 10 though. We have fantastic breakfast here in Allen Park. All right, so we're going to head over to another community here in the Down River area of Metro Detroit. So I'll see you, so I'll see you there, off to Trenton. And welcome to Trenton, Michigan. So we're further south in the Down River communities. We are located along the Detroit River, just across the river from Gross Eel. And we're very close to our next restaurant, but before we do that, we're gonna walk around downtown for a little bit. Trenton was founded by Major Abram K Caleb Truax, hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, whom stayed in the area after the War of 1812. He had a sawmill, church, and store erected, and the area was first called Truax in 1834, which later became Truaxton, Trago, and then finally Trenton in 1850. I'll have to say, uh, the community of Trenton is really nice. It got some shops and a few restaurants in here too. Speaking of restaurants, it's time to head to our next restaurant. So we're staying here at the corner of Jefferson and West and we're staying in front of Roundhouse Barbecue. It is a barbecue restaurant located here in downtown Trenton. And for what I've heard online, it's, it's where everybody goes here in Down River for barbecue. So we have to check out some Great barbecue. Not sure what I'll get just yet. Maybe pulled pork or something. But we'll find. I'll I'll think about when I head inside. All right. So I'm here inside and just gotta love the interior in here. It's like this is Roundhouse Barbecue. So I like how this room I'm in for the dining room is very circular, and I really like the tree that's in the middle here. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Don't see too many interiors like this. Yep, so it's a great barbecue restaurant. They got a lot of great barbecue meats from like brisket, pulled pork, pulled chicken, St. Louis style ribs. They also even have like a cod dinner as well and also pizza, believe it or not. And over here, there's even some barbecue sauce over here too, like quite a few of them. Like Carolina sauce, for example, Kansas City. It's like a lot, a lot of great stuff. 
All right, so my food's not quite ready yet, but so, so I'm getting not only a side of coleslaw, aka the Scott Man Classic, but I'm also getting some pulled pork, but with some mac and cheese. It's gonna be bundled together. It's the ultimate mac and cheese. All right, here's the food. So here's the ultimate mac and cheese. Lots of mac and cheese, plenty of cheese, and of course that pulled pork in it, and of course the side of the Scott Man Classic, the coleslaw. And also some Texas toast. I'm go ahead and dig into the coleslaw. I'm gonna let the mac and cheese cool down a little bit. Mm, mm. This coleslaw is amazing. I don't know what type of dressing they're putting in this, but it's nice and sweet and Fantastic coleslaw. It's like very sweet dressing and they don't put a they don't overload it or anything. Definitely one of the better coleslaws I've had. I, I love it. Alright, now I gotta dig into this ultimate mac and cheese. This has been cooling down for like five minutes and this is still steaming a little bit. I think it's ready to eat. Mmm. Mmm. Mac and cheese and pulled pork mix perfectly together. This is delicious. Let me try some of the mac and cheese without the without any of the meat or very, very, very little. Pretty good to say. It's like it's not too creamy or anything. Has a nice little a nice little cheese flavor to it. Fantastic. But it's like you can get other meats in here too, like pulled pork, oh, pulled pork for example, pulled chicken, brisket. Pulled pork's really good too, like it cooked very well, has a little bit of a nice flavor to it. Some great seasoning on it too. Fantastic. All right, I'm gonna eat the rest of this off camera, I'll see you back outside. Mm-mm. That food is absolutely delicious. <laughs> That was very filling. I couldn't even finish all that. They, they, they give you a lot of food. And I will take back what I was saying a little bit where it was, didn't feel like it was too creamy. It's like as I dug into the dish, it got even more creamy. So it was creamy and delicious. So they cooked it very well. So yeah, easily a nine out of 10, I would say. The like, food was fantastic. That coleslaw was amazing. So when I was checking the reviews on the restaurant, like I was hearing some mixed Review, some mixed reviews on some of the things. Like I, I was hearing that the brisket there can be kind of dry. So I decided to get pulled pork instead with that. And I thought the pulled pork was amazing. But I guess one thing I will say is I came around like five o'clock in the evening. So yeah, the food was cooked very well. And yeah, just really enjoyed my experience in there. So yeah, definitely check out Roundhouse Barbecue here in Trenton, Michigan for some great barbecue. I can, now, I can now understand why people here in the Down River area head over there for barbecue. All right, so I think we'll head to one more restaurant, restaurant before we conclude this video. But I'll do it on a different day because I can't eat anything more for the rest of the day. All right, so we'll head to another community here in Down River. All right, and we're here at our last restaurant here in the Down River area, and we're going to stop at Christoph's, which is a fantastic restaurant located here on Allen Road near West Road here in Woodhaven. It's been around since 1987. It is a great restaurant. I've been here at least a couple times in the past. I even took my, my, my late grandmother here one time, and the food is amazing. Lots of great breakfast food here, but there's also some good lunches here too. Since I just had brunch just a week ago, Although earlier in this restaurant tour, let's go get some lunch this time. So let's head inside and go get some food. All right, so I'm here inside. It's quite loud in here because it's really, really busy. <laughs> Got a couple dining areas. I'm in the one over on the north end of the building. There's another one on the south side too. And what I like too is that I'm right behind a fish tank. So as for a very nice background, <laughs> but yeah, but, as I was saying outside, they, they're known for their breakfast, but I just had breakfast in a, at the Glass Onion Griddle, so I figure 
We'll get lunch this time. So I'm getting the Raging Cajun chicken sandwich with a side of fruit. So I'll see when the food arrives. All right, the food is arrived. Here's the Raging Cajun chicken sandwich. Fried onion straws, lettuce, grilled chicken. Looks like pepper jack cheese. This looks absolutely delicious. And also got a side of fruit too. Honeydew, cantaloupe, grapes. I was having some of the grapes off camera. These are, these are really good. Mm. Figure something healthier than fries. Tastes really good too. But yeah, it's like with this camera setup, it's gonna be hard to pick this up, but I think I got it. Mm. Besides, you buy them the, just the chicken really quick. I'm gonna say it's grilled pretty well, I have to say. Great spices on it. I gotta be careful. It's starting to drip on me. <laughs> okay, we're, we're good. Mmm. 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 -mm. This is really good. They really spiced up the chicken. It has, it's like the rub they put on this is amazing. Of course, the. The onion straws are really good too. This is one heck of a sandwich. When I saw this on the menu, I knew I had to get it, and I'm glad I did. This is top notch. That was absolutely delicious. The grilled chicken was cooked very well, and it was pretty moist too. Like it was even dripping on my plate. Fantastic food. I always enjoy getting food here at Kristoff's, and so glad I got to cover in this restaurant tour. So yeah, uh, so this concludes the restaurant tour around Down River. Got to check out a few great restaurants that you can get down here in Down River, whether it's here in Woodhaven or over in like Trenton or Wyandotte, et cetera. And of course, even had some ice cream too while I was at it. All right, well, thanks for watching this restaurant tour of the Down River area of Metro Detroit. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. Uh, don't forget to click that subscribe button so that way you don't miss out on any future adventures. Well, thank you for watching. And this is Scott of the Scott Man Sayo here from Kristoff's here in Woodhaven, Michigan.